Today, we'll delve into what we'll call information processing biases. That is, they have to do with how people process information, either illogically or irrationally, in the financial decision-making uh, process. And whereas earlier we were talking about talking about belief perseverance biases, and that's when you cling irrationally to your own belief, these new biases that we'll talk about have more to do with how information is processed. As the name implies, anchoring and adjustment bias is a bias in which the use of psychological heuristics influence the way people estimate probabilities. Now that's a mouthful, but what is that? When required to estimate a value of unknown magnitude, people generally begin by thinking of some initial default number, and that's the anchor. And uh, they use, then they adjust upward or downward uh, in their estimates, their guesstimates, to reflect subsequent information and analysis. The problem is, regardless of how your uh, initial anchor was chosen, people tend to adjust their subsequent information insufficiently, and they produce uh, end approximations that are consequently biased. People anchor and adjust because that's generally uh, better at guesstimating relative comparisons rather than absolute figures. So as a result of anchoring and adjustments uh, biases, people tend to stick too closely to their original estimates when new information is learned. For example, if you originally estimated next year's earnings for a company uh, stock at $2 a share, uh, you may not adequately adjust for that estimate uh, downwards given difficulties or upwards when companies have upside surprises. Uh, they remain fixated on this original $2 estimate. Another example is Japan. Uh, for years in the 80s, uh, Japan was viewed as a model economy and many investors believed that it would remain dominant for the ensuing decades. It took almost a decade or longer uh, to revise our collective beliefs about Japan when its growth slowed and, and was uh, mired in deflationary uh, issues. Investors can similarly anchor on beliefs about companies. Let's look at oil. I'm getting calls now uh, about the recent decline in oil, thinking that it's bound to bounce back towards where it has been. I think possibly investors, clients, are anchored on the higher number for oil and expecting it to rubber band back. I don't know what it's going to do, but the market is saying today it's worth closer to 50 bucks than it is 100 bucks. So being aware of potential biases is the first line of defense against it. Analyze each new piece of information without regard to orig your original starting point.